Okay, a couple of weeks ago, or a few weeks ago, I put on my Facebook page, Best Friends Final Playoff. Okay. Well, I, there's this group of guys that's been playing basketball all year, and now, now they want to know should they play a best three out of five games or a best four out of seven games. So let's investigate that. Deciding who's the best. This group of guys, friends, play basketball every weekend. They've been doing that all year. Team A call themselves the Spurs and the other group, Team B call themselves the Heat. Well, the Spurs have beat the Heat 55% of all the games they play. They now want to play a playoff to decide which team is the best before 4th of July for bragging rights. Should they play a best three out of five games or a best four out of seven game playoff? Is there an advantage for the Heat to play a best three out of five game playoff? The rating is Spurs 55%. Heat, 45%. Seems like the Spurs have a 10% edge during the year. Let's take a look. If you remember the binomial theorem I talked about in a former slide, this works for two independent events. Below is the binomial theorem. The binomial theorem is the quantity A plus B raised to the power of N is equal to the summation from K equals zero to N of the factorial n choose k times a to the quantity n minus k times b to the k. In the binomial problem, there are two mutually exclusive outcomes. These outcomes are independent events, such as success or failure. One event does not affect the other event's outcome. If the probability p of such of success is labeled p, then the probability of failure is labeled 1 minus p. Let's call this event our basketball game an experiment. Since this experiment is random and mutually exclusive, such as success or failure, this is called a Bernoulli trial after the Swiss mathematician Jacob Bernoulli. So, since our experiment meets the requirement of a Bernoulli trial, then A plus B, or the binomial theorem, I won't repeat it again, is the binomial theorem that can be applied. Let A equals 1 minus P and B equals P, where P equals probability of success. It's misspelled probability there. So, We'll take the binomial theorem and plug in where we have 1 minus P, A equals 1 minus P, and B equals P. Okay, and we develop, therefore, our experimental equation. Let's apply the conditions of our experiment to the equation. So, okay, we got our inputs incorrectly. And best 3 out of 5 games. Well, N equals 5, K equals 3, 4, and 5. Games three are greater. P equals 55% for Spurs team, and one minus P is equal to 45% for the for the Heat team. So the best three out of five games, N equals five games, as we said before. And so now we plug in our variables, okay? So we have the summation from K equals three to five. And so we plug those in as we advance k. So k is 3, 4, and 5. And we put in uh, the variables for 1 minus p and p. And we advance, as we advance k, we subtract that from 5. Okay, so we have 5 minus 3, 5 minus 4, and 5 minus 5. And p goes from 3, 4, and 5. Okay. So therefore we end up with the following equation. And we continue on until we get to our final equation. As you can see here, 5 minus 5 is 0. Okay. So we end up with our final equation. Let's apply these conditions. So probability of games one greater than or equal to three. And there's our final equation that we just derived. So we do the multiplications. Okay. 
and we end up with the following equation. Right here, 0 0.45 squared is 61 over 400. 0 0.55 cubed is 1331 over 6,000. I just left these in fractional form. And 0 0.45 raised to the power of 1 is 9 twentieths. And 0 0.55, point 0 0.55 raised to the power of 4 is 0 0.091506. And uh, 0 0.55 raised to the power of 5 is 0 0.050328. And we find we end up with the we end up with the following equation. And the combinations are in red. Okay, because these are the combinations. Okay. So our binomial theorem as we, as we had before, and uh, our combinations were in red. So we have, let's take the first combination. Well, the first combination is n given k. Well, n is 5 and k is 3. So 5 factorial divided by quantity 5 minus 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial is equal to 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Well, 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3, and 2 factorial is 2 times 1, okay? And right here we have 3 factorials cancel, so we're left with 5 times 4 is 20, divided by 2 is 10. Okay, let's go on to the next factorial. Next factorial is 5 n given k, and that's 5 given 4. Well, we have... 5 factorial divided by a quantity 5 minus 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial. And that's equal to 5 factorial divided by 4 factorial divided by 1 factorial. Okay. Well, 1 factorial is just 1. And the 4s cancel, so that leaves us 5. Let's go to the next one. Okay. The next factorial combination is 5 given 5. Well, that's 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial divided by the quantity 5 minus 5 factorial. Well, 5 minus 5 is 0. 0 factorial is 1. So the 5's cancel. So that's 1 over 1 is equal to 1. Okay. So now we have our binomial theorem or equation resulting with 10, 5, and 1, okay? And uh, we multiply that by our numbers, okay? As you can see here, the numbers we had in our equation are here, and we just plug in the, the red combinations, okay? And then we multiply those out, and we get 0 0.538. So the probability of games one greater than or equal to three, probability probability of Spurs win three or more is fifty nine point three percent. The probability that the Heat will lose is fifty one hundred percent minus fifty nine point three one is equal to forty point six nine percent. So the probability that the Spurs win is fifty nine percent. Probability that the uh, Heat loses or win is 41%, okay? So the percent edge is 18%. And the three game, best three out of five game. Let's look at the best four out of seven game. Okay, the best four out of seven game, we follow the same scenario as before, okay? But this time I took a little shortcut. We're given seven, given four. Well, instead of put seven minus four, I just put three, okay? And given 4 is 4 for P, okay? And 7 minus 5 is 2, 7 minus 6 is 1, and 7 minus 7 is 0, okay? So then we come up with our next equation. We do the multiplication of point 0 0.45 raised to the power of 3 times 0 0.55 raised to the power of 4. And we multiply these out. 
do the multiplications. And 0 0.45 raised to the power of 1 is just 1. So then we take this final equation here, we look at the combinations, okay? And the combinations are 7 given 4, 7 given 5, 7 given 6, and 7 given 7, okay? There's our combinations. Well, the combination 7 given 4 is just factorial 7 divided by 4 factorial divided by the quantity 7 minus 4 factorial. And 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. And we have 4 factorial and 3 factorial. Okay, so 4 factorials cancel. 3 factorials is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. And so 6 cancel, and 5 times 7 is 35, and so forth. And we go down to 7 given 5, and we do the same thing. Okay. And that equals to 21. 7 given 6, and we do the same as we previously did. And that gives us 7. And 7 given 7, it gives us 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial divided by 0 factorial. 0 factorial is 1. So 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial, and that's equal to 1. Okay? And so we plug in our factorials, 35, 21, 7, and 1. 35 for 7 given 4, 21 for 7 given 5, 7 for 7 given 6, and 1 for 7 given 7. Okay? And so here's where we input it then, and we do the multiplication, and we get probability is equal to 0 0.6083. So the prob probability of Spurs win four or more is 60.8. Probability that he lose or win is 39.2%. Okay? That's 100% minus 60.8%. And so the probability that Spurs win is 61%. Probability that Spurs, the Heat wins or loses is 39%. So the percent edge is 22%. So... To answer our question, best game three out of five or best game four out of seven? The Spurs win out of a best three out of five game, 59%, and the Heat has a 49% win. So that's 59 minus 41 is 18%. Best four out of seven games is Spurs win 61%, Heat lose 39%. Percent edge is 22%. So, it would seem to me that the best three out of five game would be in favor of, even though there's an 18% edge, the Heat would want to play the best four out of seven, the Spurs would want to play a best four out of seven final game, and the Heat would want to play a best three out of five game, because there's, at a best four out of seven game there's a 22% edge for the Spurs to win. So that's the point they're going to have to debate. And the, and the Heat should be on the edge of on the point of playing a three out of five game. Until next time.